Hey there, how's it going? It is your muscle building coach, Lee Hayward, and in today's video we're going to be breaking down the deadlift. And just the other day I got an email from one of my Inner Circle Coaching Club members, and he sent me a video of himself doing the deadlift, and he asked me to critique his form and to kind of give him some, I guess, technique pointers on where he can improve. So uh, let's just jump right into it now, and we'll watch his deadlift form. All right, so let's break this down. So this is Stuart, one of my Inner Circle Coaching Club members. And right off the bat, I mean, he has the basics of, of good form, but there are a couple uh, areas that he can improve. And there's actually, a, you know, you could look at these areas as uh, mistakes that could potentially lead to injury as the weight gets heavier. So let's just run back here and see that again. Uh, let's look at some of his lifts in slow motion you'll see that he's using a lot of back as he's doing the deadlift, especially as he gets to the point where the weight is getting heavier, or I should say as he gets fatigued. Of course, the weight's not getting heavier. The bar is not, not growing, <laughs> but he's getting fatigued and the weight feels heavier. That's the word I should use. So let's just look at, at this last these last couple reps in slow motion. So right here, just look at this right here you'll see that his legs are pretty much locked out at this point of the lift and his back is still bent over almost all the way. So, I mean, he's lifting the entire weight here with his back. There's hardly anything going on in the lower body and nothing going on in his hips and glutes. And this places all the strain on the lower back. Uh, another thing you'll notice is look how far forward his shoulders are in line with the barbell. I mean, he is way over the bar when he should be uh, in line. Ideally, your shoulders should be directly above the barbell and your arms should be almost straight up and down as you're doing the lift. So you kind of think of pulling back rather than pulling up. And what he needs to do here is activate the hips and glutes. So instead of just thinking about pulling the bar up, Think of forcing the hips forward, flex the glutes, force the hips forward, and to straighten out his body uh, while holding onto the bar. So I'm just going to demonstrate that uh, in this next portion of the video. So right here, pay attention to how I'm forcing my hips forward while simultaneously pulling the bar back. So force the hips forward, pull the bar back, and try and extend the back and lock out the legs simultaneously. So right here in this position, you can see the same thing, how I'm forcing the hips forward and flexing the glutes. And by doing this, this is what's straightening out my body and thus locking out the deadlift. It's not trying to like hyper extend the back and, and just use the back muscles to lock out the weight. I'm really focusing on straightening out my body in order to lock out the rep. Now right here in these side-by-side -side still shots, you can really see the difference. Uh, in Stewart's case, his legs are fully extended and his back is at a 45 degree angle. And in my case, my legs are still bent while my back is in that similar 45 degree angle. And ideally what you want to do is try and simultaneously uh, straighten your legs while extending your back. And by doing this, you'll create a more equal distribution of the workload uh, over your legs and back. Whereas in Stewart's case, where he's straightened his legs first, now his lower body has very little to do with the lift and it's all in the lower back from this point on. So he's placing a lot of excess strain on the back and what could potentially happen here is as the weights continue to get heavier, as he gets stronger, it really opens up the door here for a potential lower back injury. Another thing that you can notice is the position of the upper body. Uh, ideally you want to keep your arms straight up and down and your shoulders in line with the barbell. And you can see that that's pretty much what's going on here in, in my case. Whereas in Stewart's case, his arms are leaned back and his shoulders are way over the barbell. And this creates even more strain on that lower back area. So this is, uh, I hate to say it, but it's an injury waiting to happen. So I really want to point this out because this can really screw you up. I mean, a lower back injury can be one of the worst injuries you can suffer because it kind of screws everything up. So you really want to focus on perfecting that deadlift form uh, to avoid those potential lower back injuries later on down the road. 
Now right here you can see the difference when you activate the hips and glutes. Uh, when you really focus on driving your hips forward and flexing your glutes, you straighten your body without hyperextending your back. So in, in Stewart's case, he's really focusing on using a lot of back, and he's actually hyperextending his back here to complete the rep, whereas in my case, I'm just forcing my hips forward and flexing the glutes, which automatically straightens out my body, and there's no hyperextension. So it's a much more efficient way to lock out the deadlift, and there's less strain on the back as well. I mean, less strain on the lower back and that lumbar area. So not only will it help you to uh, be more efficient, lift heavier weight, but it's also safer and it's going to reduce your risk of injury. So there you go. That's a quick review of the deadlift covering some common mistakes and how to correct those mistakes. Hopefully you found this video helpful. And if you have any questions, comments, or feedback, please feel free to post those down in the comment section below and I'll chat with you down there. In the meantime, have yourself an awesome day, and I'll talk to you in my next video. Take care. Over and out.